Sounds like it's daytime out there. And there goes the ender pants. Oh wow, this is a good day. But I need a boogie. Oh my gosh. Well, it might not be a spawner, but it sure sounds like it, huh? I'm gonna have to do something about food pretty quick. This is just silly. Uh, and of course, since I haven't been here since the last time I filmed, I don't know which way I came from. Do you know? I bet you guys are all going, that way, you're supposed to go that way. I'm looking. That's where the bad guys are. Okay, yeah, I remember the switch was there. Okay. Oh, and I did the circle around. Oh boy. Well, I'm not going to now don't get all kerfluffled. You know, I really should go there and see where all those zombies are. Looks like I'm not going to have a choice to be anywhere I want to be or not. Oh, boo. I got stuck. And I got all my stuff. I got lagged. I don't know. Three zombies lagged. Wow. That stinks. Oh boy, this is really like cheese. Swiss cheese, oh, I, I think mean. I should make a sword out of wood. I am in touch with a person who sent me really sound advice on how to uh, get the server back up. And I already started the first part of it today. See, somebody got me this server as a gift. They also bought the domain name, which is cool and everything, except they didn't bother to tell me. And they turned my team speak on to grannygamer1.com and they turned the um, server on to that as well. They didn't t tell me they did it and they didn't warn me about it so that I could tell my viewers and my players. So all of a sudden one day my players just couldn't log in. And that was a real problem. I lost everybody that I'd been playing with. And it took me about a week or two to get everybody back. In fact, I'm not sure if I got everybody back at the all, you know. The smartest thing to do would probably be to go ahead and start a website with the domain Granny Gamer one which we're going, working on transferring. Because this person used a company in another country in a language that I don't speak. And their North American division won't handle me because I'm out of that country. And, I mean, my domain is uh, hosted in that country. They're just being really kind of jerky about it. They won't it. let me have control of my domain. And the person who did me this so-called favor uh, is mad at me because I want to control my own name and brand. Which is kind of like, what? Really? You're mad at me? So, um, it's turned into a big mess and everybody's feelings are hurt. And it's all trouble all the way around. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Alright, I guess I have to deal with you. Fine. I'm not really in the mood and I'm kind of sick and weak and I need food. Well, I don't need food now, because... Stop with the rapid fire, you jerk! So, I'm kind of in a bad shape because I can't get a hold of my domain even though it's my name and my reputation and all that stuff because somebody took, somebody took over my life without asking you know, and made decisions about my life without asking. And it's been a real hardship. And then somebody else agreed to um, operate the server, hosting it on their own personal server. And then I guess they just changed their mind and made up all kinds of reasons why I'm a bad person and they don't have to uh, host the server anymore. And they just jerked the server. Like, they tried to pick a fight with me and I wouldn't play because I... Uh, trying to yeah. demonize me so that they so that they could justify being irresponsible and um, going back on their word and make it my fault that they were doing that. So now I've got a domain registry company that I'm working with that actually knows what they're doing and how. And they gave me step-by-step -step instructions. I couldn't get the company that was hosting my domain to give me any information. Um, but this company is now, oh good, I still got my cinema jig. Ooh, I better get back. Um, this company that I'm working with now is actually seeming to be interested in giving me actual information that that's my life and my livelihood, which is like, oh wow, what a concept, you know? So 
So, um, I'm feeling much better about things because I can actually take some control. I've, um, paid the fee to transfer the domain over to the other registry company. And now I will send a very polite business-like letter to the company that's hosting my domain against my will. And see to it that, um, I get my stuff back because it's not theirs. It's my stuff. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, yep, dope. I want you to kill the creeper. I want a record this early in the game. Please. Kill the creeper. There you go. You, I didn't get a record, though, but... Oh, shut up. Will you please just... Hi. There are a lot of mobs. Ooh, I've got arrows. There are a lot of mobs in here, and I need to get the heck out of Dodge. But I want my stuff, you know. Did I get everything? Kind of. The okay. woman who bought me Minecraft, Michelle, uh, she works as a person who administers her. It's a bucket server. She's been in the Minecraft server since way, way, way long time ago. Well, uh, the guy who works with Michelle emailed me last night a very detailed, thorough, and respectful letter about exactly what needs to happen for me to... Um, take over my domain and get my server back exactly what he's willing to do to help um he's volunteering to set work with the initial setup um and then if he becomes a permanent admin we can negotiate about a fee um he's willing to be flexible about that because he knows that i am low income and that i'm just getting started and stuff so he's being very generous about this he didn't have to do any of this at all of course and, um, oh, and he blew up my These were young people who made adult decisions, they thought. But see, the fact that they didn't even talk to me about the decisions they'd made, uh, I could not make responsible choices, and they weren't making responsible choices. I never agreed to trust them with the decisions they made on my behalf. And they really messed up, and they tried to make out like it was my fault because they had messed up. And it's the same thing as I've said about other situations, which is that it's not just my work. It's all the people who had been working on, um, aww, all the people who had been working on Granny Gamer 1, you know, on the, on the server, all that work. I hope it's all okay. The files have been given to me. I hope they're not corrupted or anything's wrong with them. Somebody else had offered to help me set the server up again if I rented a hosting company. I sent her the files, and now she has disappeared. And I'm terribly concerned that what if this kid, because he made up all these reasons why I'm such a horrible person, what if he did something to those files? And, um... <laughs> this is ridiculous. And... She put them on her computer and something happened to her computer. What if, you know? Maybe that's why she's not talking to me anymore? I'm not going to make it back. I don't think. And I can't run because my health is so bad. And they are right on my behind. And I don't even have any blocks. I can't pull her up. Oh my gosh. I just start hitting them with whatever you got. Okay, well that's enough of this. <laughs> uh, it's going to be daytime in a minute. Oh, and I'm losing all my XP. That's the saddest part of it all. Oh, man. So you see, it's been really, really hard. And that's what you guys didn't know because I wasn't telling you. Now, some of you know about some other stuff that's gone on. And some of you don't. But it looks like I've got somebody I can work with now who's actually going to be honest and do the right thing. It looks like it. So, we'll see. I'm trying. Just like I'm trying to get back to your stinking cave. Oh, I hope those skeletons shoot those, uh, what do you call them, spiders. Look how bad my health is, and I'm not even close mm. yet. La, 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 la. I'm going to have to make a bed. There were sheep back there in that sand, weren't there? Yeah, so I'm going to have to make a bed. I'm trying to get back over to this cave before... Actually, I should probably just stand here. Because it's almost daytime. And let the mobs burn. Nope, because they'll gather down there. I have to go. i to get my stuff. If I can. Yep. There we go. Where's my sword? 
Where's my sword? Really? Hey, I hit it. <laughs> it's really hard to kill something with a shovel, huh? Well, oh, I hope it didn't blow up my junk. Okay, where's my, okay, torches. Okay, see, I was going to peel this off and make a honey pot. That's what I was going to do. So, let's see. Uh, where's the rest of my stuff? I probably have more stuff in here, right? Yeah, here's a bunch of it. Here's a bunch of it. Here's my good sword. And I gotta hop down there and try not to get killed. Ooh, my chest plate. Okay, and put that. And then put this. And then, ooh, ooh. And then we can seal off that part of the cave, right? Right. Okay, put a torch here. And then put blocks here. See, try to look at the cross here. I'm telling myself this. Try to look at the cross here and not at the block. You know what I mean? So that you know where the cross here is going. Otherwise, oh, it's a pain. Now, the way out is over there, I think. Let's see. Uh, Ooh, look yeah. over there. I think I would like to live under there. Oh, look at me lag. Okay. All right, well, I think... Oh, if I can get it to go, that I should make a house under the... Oh, my gosh. Really? Oh, I've never been in one of these before. Not to... Was it something that somebody else, else already found in the train station or portal? To... I've never been in one. Oh, this is home. Oh, you betcha. Oh my gosh, this is home. Hi. Real mushrooms. I can buy them from a shop on a server. I didn't keep them in. Okay. This is home. Well, on that note, I'll see you next time. Look at all those. Happy gaming! Bye!